Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to resolve error starting virch-manager no graphic display found. So this error we are going to resolve in SUSE, SUSA, KVM, okay, kernel virtual machine. Okay, within our demo environment, uh, SUSA KVM is running on one of the HPE Synergy compute node. Okay, within that, we can just test the, how we can resolve this error message. Okay, so before jumping to the resolution, let's quickly recap what is a SUSA KVM virtual machine virtualization architecture. So within our compute platform, HPE Synergy 480 Gen 10, on top we are running SUSA Linux Enterprise Server with KVM module operating system. On top, we are running the multiple virtual machines. Okay, this is the architecture. So to verify this virtual machine management, we can manage all these virtual machines using CLI method, command line interface, and another option is graphical user interface. So currently, CLI is working fine only when we are trying to open a virtual machine manager using virtual-manager command, we are getting the error message, okay? So as we are aware, to get the list of running virtual machines and inactive virtual machine from the uh, SUSA KVM, we know the command is VARSH list space hyphen hyphen all. And to verify graphical user interface for, to log in to the virtual machine manager, the command is virtual hyphen manager. So let's verify one by one within our lab system. So I log into the SSH session using SLES KVM host three. So now if you type the first command via RSH list space hyphen hyphen all, we can see the list of virtual machines, all the running active VMs and also the inactive VMs, okay? Now to open the graphical user interface using virtual machine manager, the command is virtual hyphen manager when i type this command see if you notice there is a error message unable to initiate server couldn't connect connection refused and unable to initiate server couldn't connect connection refused the main error is saying error starting virtual hyphen manager no graphic display found so this error only i highlighted in our slide see error starting watch manager no graphical display found okay that is within the susa kvm so this uh, error only I highlighted within our slide. So the same error message. And to resolve this error message, the solution is to run watch, watch manager or virtual machine manager on remote system and display it on our local machine, consider using SSHX forwarding. So we have to enable the SSHX forwarding, then only we can, we can resolve this error message. Okay, but how we are going to enable SSHX forwarding, I will show you in the following slide. See, to resolve this error message, we have in our uh, real-time scenarios, we have a options to be running the servers on either member servers on some are Windows server, some are Linux server. Suppose if you are using a Windows server, first we need to understand how to enable X11 forwarding for Windows machine. For Windows machine, install an X server software, like one of the software is Xming or VCXO to enable X, uh, X forwarding. So this software we can download from internet and you can install the Xming software. This software will help us X forwarding allows remote execution of Linux graphical application. Our graphical application is virtual machine manager. Okay, and once it is enabled, we can access to use an SSH client like Putty and supporting X forwarding option. Okay, this is the solution. So we'll observe the Windows level solution first. So first we have to download Xming software. So log into the window, our system and let me open the Google Chrome and download the Xming software. So you can type in the Google Xming download. When you type Xming download, you can choose any one download link and just try to download the Xming software. See currently our download is download will start shortly. See download is completed. When you go to the download section, there is a show in folder, there is a download option, downloaded Xming software. So installation just straightforward, just uh, launch the setup.exe 
When we launch the X server setup.exe, Xming setup wizard, click on next and use the default location C drive program files Xming. Okay. And the folder is already exists. Would you like to install to that folder? Yes. And you can choose the default settings, select the component, click on next and start the menu folder is Xming. So click on next and now create a quick launch for X launch as well and create a desktop shortcut. Okay, create a desktop shortcut icon as well. Okay, I'm creating additional icons, it's no issues. So click on next, install. So currently installation is in progress, uh, retry the installation. So it is saying that click retry or not recommend or about the cancel the installation. Let me retry. or ignore. So once the installation is finished, let's try to launch the Xming launch. So when you select X launch, see, see the select the display settings, multiple windows. So click on next and start no client. We can go with the default options, click on next and configuring complete. So click on finish. So until this, the first step we completed Xming is installed. Okay, and now it will helps to allows the remote execution of Linux graphical applications. But how it will allows is we have to open the SSH session. So already the SSH session having error message. So we can close the SSH session to enable the X forwarding on putty as well. Okay, before any showing you this option, let me try to explain the another option from our slide. Suppose for Windows Server, I installed the Xming software. If we are using a Linux machine, for the cloud, our member server is a Linux machine, for a, how to enable X11 forwarding on Linux machines are, we have to modify our SSHD configuration file. Normally, we are aware to enable SSH session, we have to enable permit root login to yes. Similarly, within the SSH configuration edit, you can also uncheck or unselect X11 forwarding and X11 use forwarding set to yes. When you did this modification, finally restart the SSHD service. This is how we can enable X11 forwarding on Linux machines, okay? I'm going to show you this option on Linux machine. So let me connect to our lab system. Let's say this is our KVM host also a yeah? Linux server. So let me clear type the command SSH config file. So vi space slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD underscore SSHD underscore config. Okay, now press enter. We can see the all SSHD configuration file. If you see here permit root login already set to S and we have to look for a X11 local host. See, if you see here, there is a X11 use local host is yes. But here X11 use local host is in a hash mark. You can just remove the hash bar. Before modification, click on insert, press I and remove, unselect this option. And also X11 forwarding is yes. And as well as X11 use local host also yes. Okay, and permit root login, we already set to as a yes state. So no need to modify the permit root login. That is already set to a yes state. Okay, see here, permit root login is already in a yes. So once our X11 forwarding option is unselected, that means enable the X11 forwarding, forwarding yes, a local host yes. What we have to do, we have to save and quit the VI widget. So escape and colon WQ exclamation mark, it will save and quick our changes. To validate the information again, cat space slash etc slash SSH, SHD underscore config, you can see the validation. For validation, let's say pipe symbol and more. See permit root login or default yes. And our main options are X11 forwarding option should be yes state. See here, 
x11 forwarding option is set to yes and even localhost also set to yes okay once these options are okay we are good to start with our restarting the service how we can restart the service service space shd demon secure shell demon service space restart okay so restart also completed now what we can do is the final step is we have to enable the x11 forwarding on putty level either you can use a windows system or linux system the third step is common for both scenarios okay so to use the ssh client supporting x forwarding such as putty even in our linux system, system remotely if we are accessing we are using a putty only so for putty how we are set up in x, x server setup is open putty session navigate to ssh x11 category and we have to enable x11 forwarding option and save the setting and then you can start using virtual hyphen manager error will be resolved okay now i'm going to perform the third step so log into our system. Let me exit this wizard and launch the SSH session again. So now when I launch the SSH session, if you see here within the putty SSH session, you can go to the connection under SSH, expand the SSH, you can see X11 option. See currently enable SSX11 option is currently unchecked. So you can just enable this option selected. It should be selected enable x11 forward is enabled now and go to the session we have to type our server ip let's say our server ip is 192.168.243.172 and we have to type our server name let's say our server name is suzy kvm and when you select this option click on save see we already saved with a suzy kvm okay now we when you select the load also it will connect we are connecting with this option and also the setting also it's saved with enable x11 forward even next time when you want to reuse instead of typing this ip you can directly use suzy kvm when you type susa kvm it will directly launch the susa kvm widget so type the root and let me increase the font for this so apply let me enter the password So what is the command earlier we have the error messages? VARSH, VARSH list space hyphen hyphen all, it's working fine earlier, even now also it's working. But when we type virtual hyphen manager, we are getting the error message, but hopefully that error should be resolved now because in our Windows system, we install the Xming software. Even in our Linux layer, we also enable the our SSHD configuration file. We enable X11 forwarding option. So, and also we enable, we set up X11 server option or X11 forwarding enable on your putty as well. So we did the troubleshooting step. Now, when you launch virtual manager command, it has to resolve our previous error message. So let me press enter. See, now this time there is no error message and the wizard is launching successfully. Okay. Hope you understand how to resolve this error message. The only solution what we did is we enabled the X11 forwarding on Windows. If you are using a Linux machine, you can use SSHD configuration file to edit and make X11 forwarding should be SS. By default, it is in the comment. We have to uncomment so that the X11 forwarding is enabled. And when you launch virtual manager command, it will successfully launch the graphical interface widget, virtual machine manager widget. Okay, so let's back to the slide. See, the conclusion is we have this error message earlier. So for the resolution, we enabled SSH X forwarding. So to overcome the no graphic display error, SSH X11 forwarding X server configuration is the solution. So finally, we can run virtual machine manager effectively in SUSA kernel virtual machine for seamless virtualization. Okay, so that's it. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.